So here are the people, the great Sony's XM5 headphones. Since I believe I'm one of the top 1% of the people who actually owns these headphones, I think it's my duty to let you guys know the subjects that top YouTubers have not covered. So I'll try to make this video precise and short as possible. But before we get into this, this video is sponsored by The Ridge, the father and son startup company since 2013 and now sits in front of pockets of over a million men and women worldwide. Their main motto of design is to produce products with philosophy of less is more, which only true pioneers has the capacity to bring to maximize your lifestyle and minimize the hassle. They are currently streamlining daily life through quality products such as like wallets, backpacks, and chargers with minimalist designs that don't sacrifice function. Please visit their website, ridgewallet.co.uk, where not only you will find variety of minimalist wallet available that comes along with quality materials, but also accessories such as cavity tray, elastic, and money clip. That is ridgewallet.co.uk. Since the release of Sony XM4 earbuds, I believe Sony wants to represent themselves to be the pioneer of the environmental friendly company. So you can see the same packaging has been applied to the actual boxing, but in fact, the tag itself that surrounds the actual box is the same uh, quality of the boxing that we saw from the XM4 headphones, which um, I believe is not that much of an environmental friendly, unfortunately, because we need to have some clear image in certain part, but they have substantially reduced it. But I'm not sure whether the actual headphone itself is environmentally friendly as the link bud that they produce. Now, some might argue saying that why do you need a Sony XM5 headphone since you got an XM4? Now, there are two main good reasons behind it is that my head is big so that if you are in a public space, you'll probably see me with this bit sticking out. This pretty much is saying that, hey, my head is big. While as I think Sony XM5, the way how it sticks out, extends it, it's only the pole that sticks out, so not a lot of people will be able to see as clearly as this. So that's number one. Number two is that I got very weird head shape. I actually pointed out from my previous video with regards to the Sony XM4 is that I got a pointy head. And I actually drawn a sketch explaining how it works, my head, is that I got this bumpy rounded bit that sticks out on the both end on the way to the top is rather flat but on the actual top is this pointy bit that seems to cause a lot of discomfort when I wear conventional um, headphones so that's why I decided to get the Sony XM5 because so many top youtubers are saying this is one of the most comfortable headphones they ever tried so if you open up here and then you just need to take out this sticker here Oh, by the way, 1000X series. I like that text. Now, I actually ordered the black because I just kind of got bored with my gray color Sony XM4. But immediately what you can see is a size difference. Is a lot of people saying that it's bigger, but I can't see it much bigger. It's kind of wider, um, slightly taller, but thinner on the top. That's the difference that you can see here 360 audio free trial and all those yeah those documents that you normally get when you buy xm4 or xm5 series and so on oh that's a better zipper than the xm4 case that i have here wow look at that i just love black color it looks so cool and oh that's so smooth that's so smooth i love that and obviously there's a bit of a much softer cushioning here. Usual, should we say, earphone jack to earphone jack and then the USB-C charging. Many of those tech YouTubers actually told you there are several microphones, uh, twice more than the XM4s um, and then the earphone jack here. NC AMB and this is on and off and the Bluetooth connection button. So if you compare these two, I just love the actual frame here. It's much thinner and um, cushioning side let's actually look at it so if you imagine this with slightly more but actually continues all the way along that's better it's pretty much the same angle but somehow because it's thinner it looks more uh, dramatic in some way um, but this one is bigger um, and also it's more like oblongish with the round curve kind of edging i just can't see this clever sensor here I, have they actually downgraded that or is it actually hidden here almost the same weight i can't really distinguish between these two so moment of truth 
Okay, right. There is still slightly the pressure immediately on the top, but then again, if I actually slightly release it, that's much better because what it is is that this actual joint, uh, the cushioning that joins my ear, this also seems to be supporting the whole headset so you don't really feel as much as pressure as how it feels like when you wear Sony XM4 earbuds. And I haven't actually turned on the power and immediately I can see that a lot of noise has been filtered out as well. So that kind of shows how well this is designed. It actually feels like it fits right into your head. So well done for that. So just like the usual way, let's use my bruv here to find out the sound quality comparison between the Sony XM4 and Sony XF5. So here it goes. Right, so I'm literally connected to both of these headsets, the Sony XM4 and Sony XM5, and I literally cannot tell the difference. They're exactly the same. Perhaps Sony XM5 has a sharper, about one or two percent sharper beat sound, but maybe that's just my bias towards the brand new product, favoritism, but they're both really, really good. But overall, I think the most biased, unbiased conclusion is that they literally sound the same. Now, the quick first impression conclusion in regards to Sony XM5 is that this is like a massive improvement on the design. The headband itself is much thinner and there's more cushion way around and also the uh, ear cushioning as well, there's more cushion and it seems to somehow support the weight of the headphone as well, despite holding them both up I could actually feel that the Sony XM5 feels much lighter for some reason. And also, I think the way how it's designed, uh, maybe it's more noise cancelling effective as well ergonomically. And uh, it's something I cannot explain until you actually try it out yourself. But with regards to the sound itself, you're hardly going to see any difference. Like Just like any other YouTubers who have also concluded the same as well. I agree with that. Now, I don't know how it actually detects automatically that it's actually plugged into my ear, but it does the same thing without that sensor that Sony XM4 has. Um, but overall, I think the comparison will be like, um, currently we got so Sony's PlayStation 5. Soon, hopefully we're gonna see uh, PlayStation 5 Slim. They both have the same spec, but actually the Sony PlayStation 5 Slim will have a slimmer design. I think that's the logic we could apply here and so on. So what I'm really excited about overall is that I'm gonna hand over my XM4 to my dear wife so she could also have the same quality 
uh, high quality music all around and for me um, while I commute to central London I'm gonna show off to the people who a lot of people actually have Sony XM4 saying hey I got Sony XM5 headphone I'm way better off for you for the next five or six months without saying it by expressing this brilliant design I just love the way how it's design overall so anyhow I hope this video showed or shared what sort of information you're after especially you're in a similar case of where I am but if you have any queries please do comment below regards to the comfort level though I think you need to bear with me for at least two or three weeks to let you know about this whole pointy head issue bits that is very unique in my case but anyhow by all means, please do feel free to comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.